Hi, this is Master Bamboo. This week, I got the mysterious delivery of a huge box, and within the box, it's a very dirty and flimsy Alpha Cool 3080 all-in-one cooler. I was like, "What the heck?" So I opened up the box, and here's one of my body, and then within the little note, and he says, "Well, I got this from a second-hand place." And I look at it, and I was like, "This can't be good." So the note continues. I bought this from a second-hand place, and they promise it'll work good. But when I actually put it together, it does not work like it as it intended. And within the package, it contains a 3080. A Alpha Cool S Wolf all-in-one water cooler and the whole thing, but without the fans and also the the very nice packaging. And the note continues. So please help. When I try to run the 3080, the temperature shoots up to 95 degrees and everything crashes down. Now, for S Wolf series not working properly, there are a few key items that you need to pay attention to. First of all, the water block needs to have a really good contact with the PCB. If not, you will have temperature issues, and your radiators will not blow hot air. Second of all, if your radiator or your water block is blocked by some kind of items or by chance, then the water pump will not be able to push it very efficiently. Thus, you will get a very high temperature. And third, if The water pump is faulty, then of course it cannot flow the water, and then leads to overheat. Now let's take a look at a few steps to make sure or to isolate what the problems can be. To diagnose the proper contact of the PCB and the water block, there is only one way, which is to take it out. Luckily, the S Wolf is designed to be simple. The back plate can be taken off by only four screws. While the core screws are are another four screws, so after eight screws, you'll be all set to take the PCB off. Now here's a hint: if your PCB slides right off after you have taken off the four core screws, there is a chance that your PCB is not contact correctly with the water block. But unfortunately, it is not the case here. I had to take some pressure to pry the PCB off of the water block, so that means it's a really good contact. The next step would be testing the water pump. Luckily, for the S Wolf, there is an indicator on the top of the GPU water block. Once you have powered the pump, the indicator should turn green if everything is good. If the indicator is white or any other color other than green, then that means you have a pump issue. So unfortunately, it is not a pump issue for this particular water block. Now moving down to the list. If you have a blockage within the radiator or the water block, after you have powered the pump, you can actually see here the water gets pushed forward a little bit, then it stops. So it is highly likely that there is a blockage either within the water block or the radiator. From my experience, the water block blockage is more common than blocking the radiator. So we have ruled out the pump issue, the PCB contact issue. The only issue it remains is a blockage either within the water block or the radiator. So, to proceed, we'll have to drain the kit completely, and then to take apart the radiator or the water block, and then clean it one by one. Now, it's not going to be a happy day, but it's a job that needs to be done. So, let's get started.
up. So after spending almost a day cleaning up and also refilling the kit, everything started working back together. The 3080 performed outstanding after the cleanup. Well, regarding on my body, I got a really good laugh out of him. But after spending a lot of money on the transportation of the kits and also for me spending a whole day to clean it up, um, I'd say, you know, it's better just to get something new, something fresh to avoid that, you know, the legacy issue. But I'm just glad it's a happy ending for today. This is Master Bamboo, and we'll see you next time.